I kind of imagine myself every time I eat something bad, I gain weight like immediately. You see, right, right. I imagine myself. I get so scared, so I I don't eat a lot of junk at all. In fact, I don't eat that right. much at all. So if we have like instant gratification, like you gain like ten pounds if you eat like certain things, or do you know what I mean? Right. Or have stomach pain or something like that, then 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 you won't eat as much because people are always struggling with that, you know? Exactly. Okay, we have Willie here today. Hi, Willie. How you doing? Willie's been uh, with me for a while, right? You've yes, been coming please. to see me. He's got some other foot problem. I just gave him an injection right here for his uh, charcoal foot. His joints kind of disintegrating. He's waiting for surgery right now, right? Yeah. We just got it cleared now, so we're gonna we're gonna fuse this joint over here. In the meantime, he has this uh, quite challenging nail issues. As you can see, they're quite thick. Look at this one. So I'm gonna take care of these things. And he's got, uh, he's quite an interesting guy. And I'm sure he's got a lot to talk about, right, Willie? Yes, sir. Okay, so you you, you have kidney issues, right? So yeah. you're, you're seeing some uh, a doctor about the kidney problems. So yeah. tell me about your kidney issues. Yeah, so when I was, um... Five, I was five, my kidneys weren't functioning. So. Really? Both of them? Just one. Oh, just one? Okay. Yeah. What, what happened? Was it genetic or? I don't know. It was just. Uh -huh. Mom really never explained it to me, but she just. I, had kidneys. I was just. They were just bad. Uh -huh. I had a blockage. I couldn't pee when I was born. Oh, really? So then they, oh, wow. they stopped the blockage and uh -huh. then they told me, oh, well, now we have to remove a kidney. Mm. When I was five, so. I've been having just one kidney. I've been going. Fine, no problem. Mm -hmm. And um, and then what happened? Two thousand six, mm -hmm. I got pneumonia, mm -hmm. and it killed the kid. It killed the other one that I had. Oh really? It broke wow. it down. So I ended up going on dialysis now. I've been doing dialysis for sixteen years. Oh wow! Yeah. So you're waiting for a kidney donor right now? Yeah, I'm trying. It's kind of hard, but it's it's up to me. I got to lose lose some weight. Uh huh. So. We're going through that process, but it's all because of my foot right now. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta I gotta get your. Walk. Yeah, I can't walk like I usually do. Yeah, we gotta get your foot fixed first. Yeah. And then, and then ready to lose some weight, because then right. you gotta walk around, right? Yeah. Do exercise and things like that, huh? Yeah, you you just couldn't do it, huh? I just can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Well, we we're here to help. So I think your surgery will be done sometime in January to fuse that joint. Yeah. I've been injecting some herbal medicine to keep the inflammation down and be able to, you know, have it them really less works. pain. It right? Works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. It's better than pain medicine. Right, right. Well, it's natural stuff. So right. I, I use that for a lot of different, you know, problems that people cannot have surgery or don't want surgery. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's a very powerful way to uh, improve your health naturally, you know? Right. So. Cortisone, obviously, a lot of people know that it can uh, damage your joint and a lot of other tissues. It does it does some good for a lot of pain and inflammation, but it ha also has a lot of side effects with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what we try to do. So t tell us a little bit about your your um, dialysis diet. You have a sp pretty special diet, right? That that you're kind of restricted certain things, right? You have a renal diet. Um what what do they consist of? Consist of no cheese. No, no cheese, okay. No dairy, no uh, no milk, um, no nuts, chocolate. Oh really? Yeah. Not even the dark chocolate? Not even dark chocolate. Really? Wow. If I do, it's either you can consume it or either just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So probably one slice of cheese a week is fine. Oh, well, you can have some, but not. Yeah, I can not... have some, but some people choose to just take it out of the diet. Uh -huh. You know, cheese is pretty bad anyway for you. So. Right, right. The milk products, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, cheese, uh, oatmeal. I couldn't believe it that um, oatmeal really oatmeal because of the it's wheat and it's uh, I forgot kind of uh -huh. think I forgot what it was, but oatmeal, uh -huh. wheat bread. Uh -huh. I can't. How about it. other other meat products? Is it yeah, a lot meat of high protein, protein stuff? Is uh, so bad for the kidneys, right? Yeah, so like, um, I mean, meat is pretty good. It depends on like, organ meats is bad for you. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, yeah, and the organ meat, like too liver much protein. and stuff like that. But normally uh, chicken, fish, mm -hmm. fish is the best. Yeah. 
You know, it gives me energy. Right. No, no legged ones, I call it. No legged. Uh, two legged ones are okay, like chicken, turkey. Right. Yeah, turkey. And then how about four legged ones? Four legged ones, the, the red meat ones are no good, like the cows and the. <laughs> It's not good. It's not good. But they tell you not to eat those. Or? Yeah, they said I can eat beef, but it didn't. Oh really? They say but okay. Beef, personally, beef is not good. Uh huh. You should probably only consume beef probably twice a month. Mm -hmm. It's hard to digest. So I got it's hard to get away from the carne asada burrito. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's so, a bad thing. So what? what so with, with with that in mind, what 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 do you eat for like breakfast and stuff? Eggs. Um, Mm -hmm. toast, piece the of eggs are okay. The eggs are good. Mm -hmm. You know, you, that's if you, you also got to watch your cholesterol if you have high cholesterol. But mm -hmm. in this case, I don't. So oh, you don't. You don't fine. have it. Yeah, eggs are fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Slice of toast, uh, English muffin. You know, mm -hmm. pretty good. A cereal, but not too much. Cereal has a high phosphorus too, so mm -hmm. got to keep the phosphorus levels down. All oh, right. Food has phosphorus, so our levels are different from yours. Uh -huh. I have to take medicine after I eat uh -huh. to help with the phosphorus go down. So, but breakfast that's cool. Um, fruit, uh -huh. uh, no orange juice. Orange juice is high in potassium. Uh huh. So they don't want your potassium to get too high. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So a lot of stuff I gotta watch. So water's the best way. And you can't drink too much as a diet is sufficient either. Can't, you're restricting a certain amount of fluid, right? Yeah, I'm restricted to about... Uh, like, how much? 16 ounces a day. 16 ounces? That's, that's one bottle. It's like two, yeah, two eight-ounce bottles of water, so... That's not that's not a lot. No, but my doctor... Uh, said I'm a big guy, so... Right. You know, I can consume it, but it's going to hurt after a while. I'm taking that water off. You got to think, whatever you, whatever you put on, you got to take it off. Oh, I see. So you're either going to drink... Let me see. I'm taking out five kilos. That's about 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do a day. Some people can't can't tolerate that at dialysis, but I can. You don't feel thirsty? I always be. Yeah, I feel thirsty, so I try to. You try to eat, not eat salty snacks like chips. Yeah, because then then you're right, really thirsty. You thirsty. So I try to have an ice machine for crushed ice. Oh, I see. Yeah, I try to um, eat grapes. I keep grapes around. Hard mm. candies, sugar free if if you're diabetic. So like mm -hmm. Jolly Ranchers. I try mm -hmm. to keep those around the house so that that'll quench my thirst. There's nothing like water. <laughs> right. Like but what what if you cheat, what happened? They they do you kinda of struggle through the dialysis? Yeah, you can cramp on the machine like I've cramped in um during my um dialysis treatment. It hurts bad so so you, you either want to cramp like a, or you want to drink, yeah. It's like a punishment, huh? Exactly. Oh yeah. So, so you, so, I drink a lot, so like you, if, you like think if about it. Weekend, if it's the weekend, I like go for two days. So that's two and a half days. Right. So you I know. Be careful. Yeah. If if uh, people ask me all the time, how do you how do you how do you keep yourself so thin? I say, well, I I kind of imagine myself. Every time I eat something bad, I gain weight like immediately. You see, right, right. I imagine myself. I get so scared, so I I don't eat a lot of junk at all. In fact, I don't eat that right. much at all. So if we have like instant gratification, like you gain like ten pounds if you eat like certain things, or do you know what I mean? Right. Or have stomach pain or something like that, then 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 you won't eat as much because people are always struggling with that. You know. Exactly. So but, uh, it's for, for you, you got a you got a good punishment waiting. If you right. if you mess up, then <laughs> it's right. waiting for you to give you pain. Another right? thing with your diet, it seems like you know if you kind of like everything that's uh -huh. cheap is on the corner. You know to eat food, but uh -huh. you can get a burger. You can get a burger for four three bucks, but you can't get a salad for three dollars. I know. Huh? You get a salad from anywhere, it's like eight dollar, ten dollars. Yeah, salad is expensive. So it's crazy. Why is a salad expensive? But this, yeah. you know, a burger, so it lets you know, like. That's why it's so easy to eat the junk food because right, it's cheaper. Easy. It's a dollar. There's dollar yeah. menus everywhere. Cheaper and it's more available. So, you know, if you want to fix income, dollar menu is your best friend, right? Yeah. I mean, you got to eat. Yeah, you got to eat something. <laughs> you got to eat something, so. It's just easier that way, right? Like, even like El Pueblo Loco is expensive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For feeding a family, it's like, it's kind of high, so. Yeah. Whether you can just go to McDonald's and get dollar burgers, or whatever. Right. For kids, so 
It's kind of, kind of backwards. So you, when, when do you do your dialysis? I do it three days a week. I do it Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday. It's like three, four hours, right? How long I do it? do five hours. Oh, five hours? Yeah, because I was used to do my kernel at night time. Uh -huh. Which is six and a half hours to eight hours. So since my clinic turned closed down, mm -hmm. they're not offering the, the nocturnal program. Uh -huh. so I have to, uh, oh, really? Oh, because of the COVID? Because, no, they, um, actually, it's, I was going to Lakewood Mall. Uh -huh. Since I guess the mall is closed, they're, they're raising the rent, so the dialysis, the V, they don't want to pay. Oh, so I they, see. They renew the contract. Oh, so the mall closed down. Right, so it's oh. because of the mall closing down. Oh, because I see. Because of COVID. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, uh, but I'm down the street, so I'm doing five hours, which is good. That's normal. It's not normal. Normally, uh, people are doing three and a half, four hours, four and a half. So I do five. I got an exception. My doctor let me do five. So it's okay. Wow. Yeah, so, so, is it is it painful? Like, um... When you're doing it, are you able to rest, or what, what happens when you go there? I go, I got my chair, I got my blanket, I got a TV, I get hooked up, and there we go. And I either, I'll stay up for about an hour, mm -hmm. and so watch a little news or whatever on TV, and uh, mm -hmm. I'll go to sleep. Yeah, I came to TV, so we got sports, so mm -hmm. you know, it's not boring. I mean, it gets boring when I first started, mm -hmm. but uh, hey. Alive, so that's the best place to right. But what, what they're doing is you can rest and you can sleep and yeah, you got a chair, you know, you can get comfortable, you keep your shoes off. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Bring your blanket. I got a pillow. Yeah. Yeah, so I can pretty comfortable on there five hours. So um, you do you get to know all your neighbors? All your buddies that come at the same yeah, time? Yeah, neighbors and the technicians I've been knowing for fifteen years as well. Almost like, like your family, family, huh? Right. We you go three. Yeah, you got you go three times a week, so. Yeah, three times a week, so you know we talk personal business, my personal stuff. Uh huh. You know, they know about my family, they know about my my daughter, you know they know. Yeah. So they know about their family. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 It was pretty young, a couple of young people, but, but now I'm starting to see more young people. Really? Yeah. How did they? How did they become like that? What? What was? Uh, why? Why did they? Are they well, diabetic? Diabetic. Or? A lot of a lot of people are diabetic. Most of the people who are diabetic are diabetic. So, right, right. And so you can tell probably like after about a year how bad the food is because they're being diabetic. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're being diabetic. So. And I think those, the people who are diabetic, they have more complications. Yeah. On the machine. Oh, really? Yeah, it's kind of like, they're that, tired or... They have to manage their sugar better, probably. Yeah, they got to manage that. Because yeah. while they're, you're getting treatment, your sugar may go up and down or something, yeah, right? Yeah, a, a lot of the drops, people pass out. So oh, gotta, really? got to keep your blood pressure monitor on. Oh, I see. So they do blood pressure every 30 minutes. So a lot more work. Yeah, everybody needs blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, pretty good. I got a lot of, a lot of people there. They know me. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So, they usually, I have other patients who are doing dialysis, and they usually wait about 10 years for their new kidneys. That's right. what, yeah, that's they what. Say, I mean, so, what it is, they give you some, that's the joy, so if you wait 10 years, you have some more. Uh -huh. So when you do get put on the loose, you get a kidney pretty fast. Uh -huh. It really depends on the blood type. And, uh, right, some, some blood type easier, huh? Yeah, some people wait because your kidney's not guaranteed. So a kidney usually lasts 10 to 12 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it only lasts 10 to 12 years? Yeah, the kidney's oh, I didn't know not that. guaranteed for life. So oh, I'm guaranteed. I, I mean, I've seen people go longer, uh, 22 years or longer than that. But some people, I've seen get, get transplants, and uh -huh. um, they come right back. They come six months a year, they're back in dialysis. Oh, really? Yeah, so it really depends on you. Oh, you have to kind of... You have to stay your, you have to, your diet, you got a lot of pills to take. 
Mm-hmm. You're taking over 20 to 30 pills a day. Mm-hmm. You know, when you get that, uh, when you get that operation. So. Yeah, because you want, you don't want the uh, rejection, right? Right. But one thing with the, um, if you do have a, had a transplant and you're back on dialysis, it's easy to get it again. Oh, really? Yeah, it's way easier to get it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Or if you need a pancreas, uh-huh. it's better, like, they do it at the, like, same time. Oh, really? So if you need something on, you can get a... Well, you can transplant pancreas, too, huh? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, and I, mean, like, I don't hear do much that. about that, though. They need to have, um... All different types of kidneys, like you can get a high-risk kidney. Uh-huh. A high-risk kidney can be from uh, an alcoholic. Oh, really? Or a, a person that was a drug addict. Uh-huh. You can, you so can, why would you get those high-risk ones? They're probably not I as healthy. Just like the last resort. Oh, I see. Course, I see. That's your last see. resort. Then you are able to get a high-risk kidney. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, other than that, I think people get kidneys and... The kidney don't work. Uh-huh. You go to do dialysis like about two, three times. Uh-huh. And uh, it, it wakes it up like a jump start. Oh, really? And then, yeah. it, and then it works after that? Yeah, it works after that. Oh, I see. Wow. I see people what? go to the Philippines and get kidneys. Oh, is that right? Because it's, uh, it's a cheaper operation? It's cheaper and, and it's crazy because uh, there's four people in the Philippines, so they sell their kidneys. A lot of people in the Philippines, in the uh, Philippines will want kidneys. Oh, because they don't... <laughs> they, they sell them. They sell them. Oh, it's I see. Wow, wow. Business. Oh, it's big business, yeah, huh? Yeah, I've read a, uh, read a couple of articles on about it. But um, uh-huh. well, when you go there, you have to pay for it. You have to pay, and I think if you do, your insurance only covers 20% of it. Oh, I see. Wow. But you have to pay. It's like close to 50000 Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it's like about 50000 Oh, I didn't know a lot of yeah, this stuff. So yeah, it's a lot of for, research, a lot of stuff that I read on. So. Yeah, well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff but, I learned. Since. Yeah. Well, good luck. Your nails are a lot flatter now. Yeah. Now you won't hurt anybody around you. I won't tear my wife's feet. <laughs> and then uh, good luck with the surgery, which is going to come up in next month. And uh, we'll continue helping you whatever we can. Look at the, and look at the nails after. It's a lot better? Feels a lot better. Okay, very good.